Watch this beautiful trading day of mine. Traders, there's uh, something I want to ask you today. Let's have a short uh, quiz here. I'm going to ask you a question real soon. And um, I, want to, I, I want to know who noticed something interesting. So just before that, uh, here's my uh, balance for today. As you can see here, I've got uh, three winners. Although NVAX, I had one loser, one winner, and the winner was a little bit better than my loser. So I turned green, slightly green in NVAX. I've got a nice winner in RUN and a fantastic winner in CVEC because it was a huge gap and go. If you take a look at CVEC, you can see that uh, it started down 40 something percent and um, just had to add. Uh, Scott helped me out there uh, insisting we should add under 50 and we did. So um, beautiful gap and go. Although right now, as you can see, it's moving higher. It does not matter the fact that uh, when it started out, it started down and continued coming down. So that was a beautiful trade. It uh, really made several points as it came down and then it changed direction. But the fact was, it was a very clear gap and go trade. So were uh, my other two trades uh, in NVAX and in RUN, but in NVAX and RUN, both of them were a gap and go up. This one was a gap and go down, CVAC. And my question to you is has to do with uh, NVAX and RUN. As you can see, my first trade in NVAX failed. I can say that my second trade failed as well. Although, well, I did have my two points and a little bit more there in my second trade, but the stock failed. Uh, the upside move, unlike run, failed. Both of them was a gap and go. Both of them, I was hoping to see a continuation over the high and uh, started with a gap up, of course, came down, moved over the highs, and NVX failed. Run, however, made it very nicely. Why? That's my question. Why did RUN make it and NVX didn't? Now, of course, it's just an, we're just assuming here. We, we don't know for sure. We uh, really don't uh, know who's behind the stock, who's buying. But there's one very important reason, which uh, uh, to start with shows that RUN has a much better chance to, to succeed. And again, take a look at NVX, it failed twice, right? I mean, the first one failed, that was my losing trade when it came down. Second one, well, I did take this one lower at 182 and then it moved higher, gave me enough uh, space for a partial, but look at the result, it failed again. On the other hand, RUN did amazingly well, look at that. Again, started with a gap up today and um, came down, then we took it on the reversal, and then it moved several points. Look, 49.80 was the entry point, and it moved all the way to 51, 51.80 or so. So that was, uh, what, uh, three points. So really an, an amazing uh, move in run. And uh, well, I'm out of this trade, but it's now trying to move over the highs. So what, what, what was the reason? Uh, what do you think? Round number 15, I did not think about that. No, I don't think so. Well, I'll check it out. Um, uh, any more answers here? I've got a few. What do you think? YouTube guys too. How about you in YouTube? What do you think? What was the reason? I'd like to get some more answers here. So again, NVX failed. Run made it. And still going. CVSC of course made it because it was a gap and go with a stock that started 40% down. Why did RUN make it? Both of them I took uh, very close to the opening. So both of them, you know, look at NVEX, came down, pulled back up, took it as it moved higher. It's almost the same as RUN, just that RUN kept running. Do you want to share your thoughts? or not <laughs> okay so definitely hmm okay that's true that's true well the first one who answered that correctly was of course at zeros uh, absolutely the daily take a look at the daily of NVX take a look at the daily of uh, run 
it's, you know, NVX came down quite a lot in the last few days and could have a day where it rests a little bit. Sometimes resting means pulling back up. You know, I don't usually take this kind of trades, but I thought it came down quite a lot and recently it moved up a lot. So I thought maybe it's just, if you look at the daily, maybe it's just a pullback from the highs. Maybe that could be a reversal point. But the fact is, the recent few days it came down very very strong it looks quite weak and tried to move higher and failed so based on the behavior it had today where it's really just going sideways i guess that it's very likely that it's going to continue coming down now so nvx failed mainly because of the daily on the other hand look at run it has been weak recently but look at this beautiful technical formation here the nice cup and handle that happened yesterday and today is a continuation today is a momentum day look at the big upside day of yesterday it draws in buyers it draws in buyers who noticed the fact that run was moving uh, higher yesterday uh, in a big way and today it also moves very nicely not as much as yesterday so far maybe it's going to continue but the daily of run looks much much better than the daily of nvx so the whole idea is more people are noticing it, more people would like to join, more people are pushing it higher and that's why it's more likely to succeed. I mean, if you start with the daily, then, well, in fact, is the, the fact is I always start with the interday. I start with the interday. I look for a trade that looks right on the interday. NVX looked right because it was a gap and go. Run looked right. It was a gap and go. The one I liked better was run because the daily looks better. So you've got some backwind pushing run and you don't have the same backwind pushing NVX. NVX could have succeeded, of course, did not. Mainly the daily. I think so. <laughs> we never know for sure. Anyway, thank you for your answer. Thank you for being here and um, hope you enjoyed your day. I'm going to finish it up as I showed you earlier, $12,000. I'm really having a fantastic week and um, yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow and today, Star Trader course, of course. We're going to see today, later today, those of you who are on the Star Trader course. Thank you for participating. See you later today and tomorrow. Bye, traders.